Howdy y'all, Sean here. This will be my first unicycle freestyle endurance challenge. I will be side riding to be the dining hall. I'll admit I've been a little nervous about this, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah, so right here, as you can see, I was having a little trouble getting started. I'm on a little bit of a slope, so I'm having to pedal uphill a little bit. I was also worried about the cars crossing the street. I was trying to time it just right so that I could cross the street without having to worry about cars coming at the same time. And we're off. I'm under pressure right now because I'm trying to get across the street before the cars go. As you can see right here, as I'm approaching the ramp, I had a little trouble getting up the ramp. My original plan was to try to go around it and go on the road, but I realized that was not possible with rush hour traffic. Hi. Yo, Simon. And there's my friend Simon watching the whole thing in action. He's in computer science with me. We've been in several classes together. We also all lived in the dorms freshman year in Mosher Hall, including Brandon, who's here filming me. All right, so I did a brief one up before, about to get going. Had to restart because the car kind of uh, cut us off, but I'm going to try again here. Here goes nothing. Yeah, so right there, when there was a cut in the video, that was because a car drove in front of the camera, and Brandon really wanted to get it in one take without a car coming in front of the screen, so we decided to start over. All right, so we started over, and now I'm going to embark on my almost 16-minute journey to Sabiza Dining Hall. Yeah, so I was really struggling at the beginning, especially navigating uneven terrain. It was also under pressure, as I mentioned, because of the cars. I was really trying to get up that ramp, but getting up the ramp is definitely the hardest part. And I was a bit worried right here because it's a really narrow walkway and I was just trying not to crash into the wall or a light post or the veal bike sitting in the middle of the walkway right there. My original plan was to come to an idle at the light, although I haven't really practiced that on my 24 inch. And I was just so exhausted even already that it felt nice to take a short rest here at the light. It's so wet in the light. That sucks, I was not getting any good runs. I got way better run on the first take. That's how it is sometimes. I'm so worn out. Doing 20, 30 rubs in the garage is nothing like doing out here. And here I am crossing University Drive. I was a little worried I wouldn't make it in time for the crossing light, but Thankfully, I made it in time before the light turned green. And of course, I fell at the ramp here. Okay, this trail was all on a slight incline. And I've practiced going uphill my 24 inch a little bit, but I was so worn out by now that it was still hard. Like when I'm going uphill, I gotta really push down on that pedal. I gotta press real hard into the seat. And I was just having trouble generating the power output necessary to make it up that trail. Yeah, so I struggled a bit here. I did have some nice long relaxed runs later on when I made it to a flat sidewalk, but that's a ways off. This was an intense struggle here. Those cracks in the sidewalk kept getting me. Although I had way higher expectations than what actually happened, it was fun for first time doing it. Definitely would like to do this again, and of course I do it more than my stamina will improve. I'll be better at handling these uh, less than ideal situations where I'm navigating cracks in the sidewalk or bumps I have to go up or ramps. Okay, finally we got a little bit of somewhat flat ground here, but it was short-lived as I quickly had to go uphill again. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. 
way worse. I had to go up this whole gauntlet that was entirely uphill, and I was breathing like Ranger when I throw the ball for him in the summer the whole way up. I eventually got relief as I had a little bit of flat ground later on, but that was a ways off. And for anyone who is not familiar with the trick, side ride is generally easier to go in a circle. So I often found myself bailing when I didn't actually lose my balance, but I was coming near the edge of the sidewalk, and so I would have to kind of step off. The goal would be not just being able to do this on the way to the dining hall for half a mile or on the way to class, but rather to do it for several miles. Like maybe even like go to work, for example, doing this trick. Here I decided to go on the road because it was getting out of hand. I kept having to bail because I was coming near the edge of the sidewalk. The sidewalk was a bit narrow, so I decided to just go on the road and just go for it. The hill was even steeper at this point, so... I was having a lot of short runs and just bending over in exhaustion, but I didn't quit. I kept going. I believed I would make it to the end, and I did. Another note is that the goal would be to just have extremely good control overall, so switching between forwards, backwards, idling. I've been working on the backwards some, and that's been coming along, not at a point yet of trying that on my 24 inch. And then the idling and riding, I can switch between idling and riding on my 20 inch, but I have not worked on that on my 24. It is definitely easier to go from idling to riding than it is from riding to idling. Also would be great to learn this on my other side. I've been working on it some on the other side. And yeah, this is one of those skills that's definitely going to take a bit of work to get really comfortable with on your other side. Another alternative, well not alternative, I would actually like to do all of these but switching feet, so switching between side ride and seat on side one foot extended, forwards, backwards, idling. Because that way, when one leg gets tired, I can just switch legs. And of course, I'd like to be able to do that on both sides. So if, you know, one side needs a break while I'm doing side ride, but maybe I don't want to switch to seat on side one foot extended, I just switch to side ride on my other foot. Now, that might require me to step down and get back on the unicycle, but it would still be cool to be able to do that. I was so looking forward to this part. We're not quite there yet, but we're approaching the final stretch. And coming up in a little bit, the ground finally was starting to level out. Some unicyclists call themselves distance riders. Some say they're into freestyle. I'm a distance freestyler. Well, that's what I aspire to be. I'm working on it. So right here, I just kind of locked in. I felt good. This wasn't really that long of a run for me. I've done way longer runs when I'm practicing in the garage or even over at the uh, athletic complex in my hometown. But this felt good here. When I uh, stepped off, I think I actually bailed because of the grass. I wasn't really too exhausted there, but the ground was pretty level. So if I didn't have to worry about bailing from the grass... Probably could have kept going a ways. Okay, I was actually pretty exhausted here, but almost to the final stretch. I can do it. Just gotta keep going.
Almost made it down the ramp. Ramps are tricky. Ah, uh, another ramp. Almost made it up. Well, not really, but I tried. Getting really tired, but I'm so close to the end. I'm so close to the end. All I gotta do is make this turn and head down military walk for a bit. Time to dig deep. I am at the final stretch. Although bricks isn't the most ideal surface for riding on, the terrain is starting to level out, which was nice. Dig deep is exactly what I was telling myself in this moment. I was hoping to make it down military walk in one go. I didn't quite do that. I was so exhausted, but it was a good effort. Big thanks to Brandon for filming. As I'm arriving at the end, I'm looking forward to enjoying a nice big dinner and replenishing that energy I just expended. This part was going up the bumps. Every little bump, you feel it. There were a few places where the ground was somewhat flat. That's when I got my longer runs. But yeah, it was fun. I'll definitely have to try it again. Try uh, going to class like this. And uh, make sure to leave a comment. And if you want to see me do any other tricks on the way to the dining hall or the way to class, just let me know in the comments. Don't hold back. Whatever you come up with, I will uh, consider doing it. So thanks for watching y'all. See you in the next video.